Because that would be awesome. Two hundred million are looking at the structure of the Earth, um, our changing Earth, and in another video, I'm going to be looking at the gases in our, in the gases in our atmosphere and in the early atmosphere. But first, the structure of the Earth. Now, obviously, the Earth is round. It's circular. It's spherical. But here, I've just given a section of the Earth from top to the center. So the first layer, we have the crust. And the crust is obviously solid. Then we have our mantle. This entire section is called the mantle, and it is the biggest section. What's it made out of? It's made out of liquid magma. So the mantle is liquid. But it's not runny like water. It is very viscous, which means thick. Then we have our outer core. And our outer core is still a liquid. And then we have our inner core. Now our inner core is special because it's not liquid, it's solid. Why is our inner core solid? Why do we go from solid, liquid, liquid, solid? That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does, because as you go down to the center of the earth, pressure and heat increase. Why? Because you've got more layers on top of each other. So the pressure is, is higher, and therefore that's why the inner core is solid. And the inner core is mainly made out of nickel and iron. How do we know that that's mainly made out of nickel and iron? We haven't seen it before, it's too deep. Well, we know that, the, we know that our Earth has a magnetic field. And we believe that this comes from the magnetic iron in the crust, uh, in, in the Earth. And also, meteors, we know that meteors contain iron, and so we use this information, and we believe that our inner core is solid and nickel and iron. Next. Okay, so tectonic plates. Now, the crust is made of moving tectonic plates. Now, I'm going to give you the marking points for tectonic plates if they ask you a question about it in the exam. So, the first thing you need to know about is convection currents. I'm assuming you know this, but if not, I'll go into it. So, convection from physics Okay, and convection currents, you should know this from geography. Okay, they're like this. Rises and falls, rises and falls, rises and falls. This is convection. Now, convection currents, where are they found? They're found in the mantle. So, convection currents in the mantle. Now, what causes a convection current? Obviously, from physics, you should know that convection is caused by heat. And in this case, it's caused by Hot spots. But where are these hot spots? No, sorry, what causes the hot spots? Radioactive decay. And we need to know this. Radioactive decay. So, radioactive decay causes hot spots, which creates convection currents in the mantle. Now, the tectonic plates that float on the mantle, what happens to them? They move. They move because of the currents. Okay? They move on the currents. So here you have a tectonic plate. If you've got a convection current going up, going down, going up, going down, see, see the motion. It's going to move the tectonic plate. So these are your market points. Radioactive decay causes hot spots and convection currents, which creates convection currents in the mantle. And tectonic plates that move on that float on the mantle, they move on these currents. Next, so what is the evidence for tectonic plates? Well, earthquakes and volcanoes occur in lines, and these lines are the edge, the edges of plates. And you've also got the jigsaw fit, like South America and Africa seem to fit together, and the same fossils. Keyword is same. Same fossils are found in Africa and South America, as well as other places who seem to fit the jigsaw fit, and as well as the same rock types or same aged rocks. And a guy called Wagner suggested plate tectonics, and he used these suggestions. And obviously, you've got other evidence now, like ocean ridges, mountain ridges, and obviously satellite images. Now, Vega's ideas were initially not accepted. Why? Because other ideas were accepted, and as well as 
there be limited evidence. When you do not have enough evidence to prove what he was suggesting, as well as one more thing, Wigner was a meteorologist. And the meteorologist is basically a fancy word for weatherman. So he was not specialized in this area, in this field. And so people do not believe him. So here are your three points. Other ideas accepted. And the evidence meteorologist. And on the exam, they could ask you why his ideas were not accepted, or they could ask you about evidence for plate tectonics, or they, or they could ask you about it in like a case study format. Next. Okay, so earthquakes. How do they happen? Well, the key words are plate boundaries. Okay, the tectonic plates, they collide at the boundaries. And this causes a constructive or destructive, blah, 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 blah. But, that, but that's geography, so you don't need to do that for your exam. Just plate boundaries, the plates collide, blah, blah, blah. Why are earthquakes so destructive? Well, because it's a sudden release. They're so sudden. It, it, it's not gradually, 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 gradually getting more earthquakey. Uh, I, 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 I can't think of the word. And also, massive energy. Okay? It's a sudden release, immediate, and it's massive energy. Now, to avoid death from earthquakes, what can you do? What's the most effective thing you can do? Think. Well, you could build to withstand. Yes. So, like rubber bases or smaller buildings or make them out of wood. But the main thing, the most effective thing you can do is don't live there. Okay, in places where there are plate boundaries and areas where earthquakes are common, don't live there. Now, that, that's, the most effective, that's the most effective thing you can do. Now we're going to move on to some common questions. Okay, so a common question is, well, scientists cannot predict when earthquakes will happen. Suggest so why. This is a very common question, so do not be surprised if it shows up in your exam. Well, technology is not developed enough. And it is difficult to know when the plates will slip past each other. So, difficult to know when the plates will slip past each other. But another thing is, earthquakes are random. Now, describe Wagner's idea of how the continents formed. Okay, so there was one big continent called Pangaea and the tectonic plates moved and that's a key point we should make tectonic plates moved but why did the tectonic plates move because of convection currents in the mantle and obviously these convection currents the tectonic plates moving cause the continents to split apart this has been the awesome tutor. Bye.